Uh, Coach Snyder, I know a couple of days ago before the game, you mentioned that for the remainder of the season, the, especially down the stretch, the team needed to be more connected defensively, especially pertaining to on-ball defense. Um, I know you may not have seen the remainder of the no, game. I watched. Yeah. Oh, so. All right. I watch. In that case, so what did you see in regards to improvement, yeah. maybe things staying the same, well, and what do you think you can carry yeah. the rest of the season? Mm -hmm. Secondly, in the play where Trey took a hard screen, uh, you got a double technical. What exactly did you see? Well, it was, it was Pearl um, who had the screen. I always said Trey took a hard screen. Yes. Well, first of all, you know, I thought we, we, we struggled at the beginning of the game offensively. To, to finish, we started poorly, and when that happens, you, you put even more pressure, you know, on your transition defense. Um, it's it's hard to contain the ball <coughs> unless you have, you know, you really are urgent to get back and, and uh, you know, show show bodies in space. Um, otherwise, they're just going to drive. So I think that fast break points, you know, we talked about that. You know, I think we're 20, 22 to nine, which, you know, that we were playing from behind during that point. With, with respect to the, you know, play, I, I, it was a foul, and you know, he turned his body. That's that's a quick, that's an automatic foul. That's that's the call. And you know, obviously, my reaction, you <coughs> don't react like that to, typically to any foul. Um, in that case, I, I saw Trey take a shot to his quad, and I was concerned about his knee, frankly. Um, you know, and then he was on the ground, and then I was worried that he was hurt. Um, so, he probably deserved the technical, although that was the rationale. I, I don't know why the second one came as quickly as it did. You know, typically you get one like that, there's some level of understanding. My player's on the ground and could be hurt. So, it, it, uh, like I said, you know, my, my reaction was certainly an emotional one, and that was the reason why. Uh, but when you see it on the film, it's clearly contact. Uh, so, feet are wide, just an illegal screen to begin with, and then body turns. And get a guy that takes a shot in his quad. And looked to me initially like it was his name, so that, that was why I reacted. But you know that that wasn't the game. You know we, we didn't shoot the ball well. Um, you know I thought we got back cut a lot, um, which was which was a problem. Um, you know and then there were a couple possessions too that were some daggers like a Linux bank shot there at the end. And, you know when the ball isn't going in even like it was early, I think we started the game one for thirteen. Um, so you're, you're grinding your way back. You know, I thought we had some really good looks that you know, we missed that could have put us you know, over the top, and that, that didn't happen. So you know, we need to do more. At the start of that game, would you do you kind of see it as a team that hadn't played in nine days versus the team who played last night? I mean, there, there's you, you, you don't want to make excuses for anything. You know, I, I thought that uh, we didn't. You know, we had the we had to get our rhythm and our timing, um, but I thought I thought we needed to get back better. You know, there's you know, our our thing. You know, we need to keep working to control the things we can. You know, when you don't control the schedule. And you could make the argument that they were on a back to back. You know, and so that stuff is out of your hands with the schedule, um, and we just need to continue to control the things that, that we can and, and, and focus on those and, and try to be better in those areas. What things do you try to work on with the guys about <coughs> not getting beat by those backdoor cuts? Well, you, you can't, you know, you have to stay below your man. Right? It's, it's, you have to have that level of discipline to, to not. We had some breakdowns where we overhelp. We had some breakdowns where, in that sense, we're out. Like the night of passing, we were susceptible to that. And when the floor is spaced, you know, there, was, there wasn't any help there at the rim. So that discipline in our defense, you know, and then our urgency and transition.
Coach, one area was the offensive rebounds that stood out to me, and that's been something the Hawks have done consistently well for a while now. What do you think it is that um, we capitalize on that makes that so big for us and so consistent for us? Well, it's important. You know, th there were a number of them tonight that we were rebounding on our own misses. Um, you know, and, and when we when we got fouled, you know, late, you know, quick got to the line and made some free throws. You know, early in the game, we, we were we didn't convert on some of those, but you know. Sadiq and Hunt and JJ and Clint, you know, that, that's a big part of their game. And it's something that they really take ownership of. And, uh, you know, the, the, there's certain times it's difficult to go to the offensive boards. You have to know when um, those opportunities, the probability of you getting the rebound is greater. And, and, and that's a tough recognition at times. But um, you, you can't, you either got to go or you got to get back. And you know, we, we can't we get caught you know in purgatory at times. Um, and when those things happen, you know it's it's tough to defend in transition. Um, you know with an open floor and, and guys that can have speed and athleticism and get into the room. Coach, I know it doesn't come down to like one possession or one play, but at the end of the game there, did it look to you like Dejounte stepped out and maybe that's the challenge to it? I I couldn't tell. You know, you know, those are always difficult things to, as you said, it's one play. And uh, again, that, that's that's to me, as you said, I'll just reiterate what you said. That it's not, you know, there are other, other situations that we weren't able to execute on or capitalize on. What did you make of, of Clint's minutes tonight overall? Um, you know, it's good to have him back. You know, he played hard. Um, there's always, you know, your conditioning when you haven't played in that long. You, even if you're working to stay in shape, when you get in a game setting, it just goes up to another level, particularly against the team that, um, that tries to push the ball the way they do. Um, but it's, like I said, it's good to have him back. And, you, know, you see how much he cares and how much he competes. Coach, with Omeka out, the team kind of needed that spark, especially front court. Bruno seen that come off the bench and provided that spark. Um, what did you think of his performance? He's done a good job. You know, as I said with Clint, who, you know, he had a couple of really good finishes in, in pick and roll. Um, we need him to keep doing that. Um, just keep performing at that level and keep competing and playing hard. And that, that's what he's doing. It's good, good to see. We need, we need that from him. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, coach.